Twitter for sure. Um, or X, is it X, called? Yeah, 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 X, my bad, X. Yeah, yeah whatever it's called. Um, and yeah, VCs are obsessed with Twitter because I think VCs love hearing the sound of their own voice. <laughs> and, and they love hearing perspectives. I mean, that's part of the job. Um, but yeah, reaching out to those people wherever you can. And a, a good strategy I've learned from other people is to share like insights or like relevant companies or technologies of a topic they're experts in or talking about. For instance, like if someone's like really big in real estate technology and they're talking about like, you know, LiDAR technology to like map spaces, mm -hmm. you could be like, well, I know the startup, actually, um, a guy's a founder at UCLA with me. He's working on LiDAR technology in real estate and you send them a company and they're like, okay, great. And they can have a dialogue with you at that point. And they ultimately see like this person can provide value. This person can like find opportunities and put them in front of me. Oh, that's fascinating. Wow, that's so cool. And I was telling Matt, actually, like, he knows so much in consulting. He knows so much kind of like, and he's going to the VC space that I think if he starts kind of making content on Twitter or X or on YouTube about what he knows, everything consulting, I feel like you do amazing on social media. And I think you do amazing, like sourcing more deals because I feel like a lot of founders will find you like, oh man, this guy has a big consulting experience. Yeah, He's seen how to kind of create new avenues to generate revenue for the firm, for the company, mm. maybe we should start getting, uh, maybe we should actually talk to this VC and like, try and get funding from the first Series A, BC, whatever it may be. Yeah, and I, I started like getting like obsessed with like BC when trying to break in. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of knew like the odds are, were against me. Yeah. And one strategy I, I did come across was to break into BC is to become a like subject matter expert or a person who has like an online identity. Yeah. Like, there's people out there who like have a blog or website who publish like, you know, thought pieces or like research they independently do. And that gets in front of other BCs and other founders and people in the tech industry. And from there, their name kind of like bubbles up. Yeah. And, like that's how they, they've got in. I've heard a couple of stories um, from like YouTube, like Twitter slash X, mm -hmm. wherever else are people doing that. Isn't it crazy though now how like in today's day and age, Personal branding and personal marketing of yourself is just so important, especially yeah. in the like, professional and career world, especially something like DC when you have so many like competitors yeah. out there who want to get into this. Because in this. for those of you who are curious, usually how BC works is that you kind of get into investment banking, you, you do the sell side, and then eventually you move over to the buy side, which is like venture capital, private equity. And then it's honestly very competitive too, because you're going to go, you're going to get MBAs from like, Harvard, Stanford, yeah. Martin, and UCLA. So thank you for for sharing that that insight for how to get break into this world. For sure, and like that, that's like I'm not the best at like branding myself, and it's something I'm I'm trying to get better at and improve on. Mm -hmm. But that's also like been a, like a common byline in my career. I found out because you know my first like job in consulting at Accenture, the uh, the CEO at the time, his motto was be famous for something. And like, you know, essentially saying like brand yourself, be known in your practice, mm -hmm. be known to the law among the like larger organization for what your skills are, what value you could bring to a project. And that's been like a common like lesson I've been learning throughout my career. Wow, that is fascinating that yeah. be famous, brand yourself, kind of be known for something. <laughs> and that's something they don't tell you like when you start your career in corporate America. I learned this at Google was that perception is reality. That's what my manager always told me. Perception yeah. is reality. So even though you may be doing the most amazing work, if no one knows about it, no one knows about it. 